Collins with CCS, and today we're at the Texas Homeland Security Conference in beautiful San Antonio, Texas. One of the things we wanted to show you today when we were at the event was a product that we're offering called Mutualink. What you see with Mutualink is a product that's being used by states and countries all over the world to basically provide interoperability as well as conferencing abilities for first responders that allow them to communicate when they're out in the field, share information, share video feeds, share documents, but do it in a way that's very simple and quick for them to, to talk to each other. And, and one of the things we like about Mutualink is you can do this from multiple platforms. You can do it from a desktop computer. You can do it from a laptop. You can do it from an Android device. You can do it from an, from an Apple device. And so we're gonna show you some of these things today and how you can use Mutualink during an emergency response. What you see beside me, it's basically the core Mutualink system that we call an IWS, an independent workstation. What you'll get when you get a Mutualink system is a Cisco router that runs proprietary Mutualink software that basically lets Mutualink connect to the Mutualink network that runs this entire operation. Below the Cisco router, you'll see what we call NICs. A NIC is a network inter interface card that allows the customer to connect to things like their video cameras, to their land mobile radio system, to their telephone system to allow them to pull dial tone in. So what we're gonna show you today is a live demonstration of how this FutureLink system works, the functionality that comes with it, and how a customer could use it during an actual emergency response. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go to the MutualLink screen. And what you see when you look at this screen is really two things. On the left-hand side, you see a list of all of the other MutualLink users that are available for you to, to contact. So what I mean by that is these people are online, they're using MutualLink, and they're available for you to contact as a resource. So if they're not online, if their mutual, uh, mutual link equipment is not on the network, you will not see them in this list. So if you, if you stroll down this list, you're gonna see customers in Arizona, California, Florida, all the way down to Texas, okay? Now the bottom of the screen, what you see are my local resources. These are resources that I have access to that allow me to pull in the resources I need, like live camera feeds, like radio, my land mobile radios, my telephones, anything that I need to communicate that I can share with another first responder during a response. So what I'm going to do now is show you how simple it is on the MutualLink system to set up an actual incident response. First thing you do when you do this is you're going to click up at the top where it says new incident and then you're going to give this incident a name. So what I'm going to call this today is the San Antonio demo. So I type that into the system and click OK. So at this point, I've actually created an incident response. Now right now, the only thing in this response is my computer and my microphone. I have not invited any other resources into this response. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna scroll through my list and we have a partner that we work with in Miami, Florida, a company called Chilcot Inc. that is online. They're using their MutualLink system. I'm going to invite Chilcot into this incident and see if, if we can communicate with them. All I do to pull them into the incident is literally click on Chilcot and then drag them into this incident box that I've already created. Chilcot Miami, how are you here? Hey, uh, Miguel, this is Gary Collins with CCS in San Antonio, Texas, and uh, we're doing a little video here at the Texas Homeland Security Conference, and we're trying to show some of our customers how easy MutualLink is to use during an emergency response. How do you read us at your end? Gary, I read you loud and clear. Tell me. Same, same from our end. Okay, Miguel, at this point, I'm gonna pull some video in from our end that has a video camera set up that's shooting here at the convention center in San Antonio. So I'm gonna pull that video in, and once you see it, uh, give me some feedback on what you see. So at this point, I'm gonna click on our video icon, drag it into the response, and then hit my play button. So at this point, whoops. Gary, I see a super clear picture of, looks like an indoor of a big uh, conference. 
Uh, directly looking at, in front of me I see a trailer with two masts. Off to the right I see a gentleman, a smaller trailer. More right I see what seems to be a couple large screens uh, with some people behind a big blue carpet in the middle. Yeah, that's dead on, Miguel. So what you're seeing in this picture is the showroom floor here at the San Antonio Convention Center. Little self-serving, but two of the trailers that you see are actually other mobile command centers that CCS has built. The large command center on the left with the two pneumatic masts on the rear is the command center we recently provided for Texas Department of Homeland Security. This, uh, for Texas Department of Public Safety. And then the trailer on the left of that is a smaller trailer also for Texas Department of Public Safety that they use to deploy some portable mast equipment. So at this point, I'm also going to pull in to the incident. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Miguel, let's do this. Why don't you go ahead and invite me into an incident from your end, and then we'll show the users what, uh, what it's like to accept an invite into a meeting. So at this point, I'm going to accept Miguel's invite. Hey Miguel, how do you copy? Loud and clear, help me. I also put some video in for you. Okay, thanks Miguel. Alright, so Miguel is also sharing a video from his end, which will be from Miami, Florida. So I'm going to click on the play button. And now you're seeing Miguel live from Miami, sitting in his workstation with his MutualLink system. Hey Miguel, we see you sitting at your workstation with your headphone on in a highly decorated office. <laughs> hey Miguel, uh, uh, please pull in a uh, radio into the uh, event, please. So one of the one of the benefits of MutualLink is it allows you to cross uh, crossband radios from different frequencies. Gary, hey, this is Miguel on a VHS handheld radio. How do you hear? Hey Miguel, I hear you, uh, hear you loud and clear. So notice in the MutualLink box itself, there's two separate buttons. There's an intercom button and a transmit button. The intercom button allows you to have audio communication between MutualLink users. So if you have a radio pulled into your event and you hit the intercom button, that will not go across the radio traffic. That's purely peer-to-peer -peer communications. If I want to talk to Miguel across his radio, I hit the transmit button. Hey Miguel, how do you copy? I copy you loud and clear talking on your TX button. So at this point, that when I hit the transmit button, it's going across radio traffic as well as the as the traffic on the MutualLink. Okay, and another neat feature of MutualLink is the ability to pull in dial tone to allow outside users to be a part of this conversation even if they're not on site. So what I'm going to do at this point is pull in one of our telephone systems. It's going to prompt you for a phone number to call. Hey Michael, what is your? Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, we'll do my cell number. So at this point, it's calling a cell phone. So now I am talking so on, my on my cell phone across mutually. Hey Miguel, how do you copy? Yeah, how do you copy? Loud and clear. So at this point, we have audio cellular from audio land mobile radio to microphone communication all in the same incident. So this allows users to, to participate in a response from their cell phone even if they're not on scene. They'll hear all the radio traffic, they'll hear all the, the audio traffic that's going on in this incident from their cell phone. So at this point, I'm gonna drop the phone out of the conversation. Hey Miguel, I'm gonna, I dropped the phone out and now I'm gonna show them the MutualLink application on the iPhone where we can stream in video. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and pull your video out and then we're gonna pull in a video feed from an iPhone. Okay, at this point, what I've done, I have opened up my MutualLink application on my iPhone 6 Plus. So you'll see the MutualLink screen on your iPhone. I also appear under the choices on the MutualLink system as a resource. So Edge is the name MutualLink gives their software that goes on Androids, on iPhones. It's just a, a software device that allows you to use other computer devices, other smartphones, other than just using the MutualLink computer. So at this point, I'm going to pull my iPhone into the incident.
by just dragging it into the box. So I get a request on my phone, which I accept. So at this point, my iPhone is now part of the incident. Now what's really neat about this is that since your iPhone or your Android device is equipped with a camera, your phone can also be a video source for MutualLink. So by clicking on video sharing and tapping send, I can now stream video from my iPhone into the incident. So I'm gonna have one of my counterparts here with IP access walk around the exhibit hall with my iPhone and he's gonna be able to stream video back into this incident. So I'm gonna hand my phone to Michael Weaver. Michael's now going to very slowly and steadily walk around the show. So Miguel, what you're seeing is streaming video for my iPhone from Michael walking around the showroom floor. So I'm gonna make this screen a little bigger to give our viewers a better view of what, of what we're seeing. Yeah, very well. Um, just so you know, I see him walking down the blue carpet right now. There's some folks in front of him, panning left, seeing a, a very nice looking trailer. I'm not sure who built that one. Uh, that, one. Go ahead. <laughs> that would also be a CCS trailer. Should have known. So, so from an application for a first responder, one thing that's very interesting about this application is, think a, a police officer pulls up on the scene of a bad car wreck, or a firefighter is at the scene of a bad brush fire. If they have network access on their iPhone, they can immediately start streaming video back from that incident back to their network operations center and allow other users to see what's going on on site. So that allows for a much more efficient response to, to any kind of crisis or emergency when you can actually get live video footage of the event. Now this video could also be coming from other streaming devices, for example, a body camera that a first responder may be wearing. If we have the ability to stream the video from that device, we can very easily connect that into MutualLink and allow that to be shared during an incident response. One thing that you'll see, Miguel has actually done a couple of things. You also have the ability in MutualLink to do texting between users. So Miguel has sent me a text message that I'm gonna pull up now that, that will allow us to communicate without having to talk over someone that maybe is on a, a LAM mobile radio. So Miguel asked me to send him a phone number so he could pull in another, another telephone into the unit. And right now, Miguel, we've got our, my iPhone tied up for the video feed, so we won't do that right now, but we are having the ability to show that you can do text messaging. Another neat feature of MutualLink is the ability to share documents, and Miguel has already sent me a document where you'll see the file flashing up at the top of my screen. So if I go, go down, you'll see where Miguel has shared a document with me, which I'm now going to open can save it to my desktop. And so Miguel has shared with me a Don't Mess With Texas logo. So Miguel, I'm looking at your document that basically is a Don't Mess With Texas logo. That's correct. Uh, if you want, I can send you something a little more detailed, like an airport diagram or school layout, whatever you need. No, that's okay. I just want to make a, a point here about about what you know what application and what this can do for for someone. Okay, and just FYI, your uh, roving video is super clear. It's just as clear as your other one. Roger. Thanks, Miguel. So the 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 neat thing about document sharing, say for example, you're a, a first responder responding to a school shooting. With MutualLink, if you have that available as a resource, you'd be able to do multiple things. One, if the school had a video system that you could link to, you could pull in a live video feed and try to get live footage of the shooter. Secondly, if you needed a floor plan of the school, through the document sharing capabilities of MutualLink, you could share a floor plan of the school so you could determine your point of entry before you even enter the building. So. I think you can see MutualLink's a very mobile system, it's a very user-friendly system, and everything that I've done today to show you is all just click and drag. So when we provide training to customers on MutualLink, literally 15 minutes spent on this system, and you can be an expert on how to create and do and respond to an incident response. So for more information, go to our website, www.comprehensivecom.net, 
and we'll have several different things, including this video, posted on our website to give you more information about Mutual League. Thanks for your time.